As a vehicle's speed increases, the power required to overcome resistance rises exponentially. But raw power isn't everything. The relationship between your tires and the road dictates the true limits of speed and control, where exceeding the available grip means losing control. So why is more power needed for higher speeds? A vehicle must overcome two main resistance forces that increase dramatically with speed, aerodynamic drag and rolling resistance. Aerodynamic drag, or air resistance, is the dominant factor. The power needed to overcome it increases with the cube of velocity. This means doubling your speed requires a staggering eight times the power just to fight the air. For both cars and bikes, drag is the primary limiting factor at high speed. Then there's rolling resistance. The friction between the tires and the road, influenced by tire pressure, material, and the road surface itself. This brings us to the crucial relationship between the road and the tire. The grip or traction that allows a vehicle to accelerate, brake, and corner is created by friction. This grip is governed by the coefficient of friction between the tire rubber and the road surface, a value that can change dramatically. On a dry, clean road, grip is plentiful, but conditions like water, ice, or oil drastically lower the coefficient of friction. Your tire's condition is also critical. Worn tires have less grip, especially in the wet where tread channels water away. At high speeds, this can lead to hydroplaning, where tires ride on a layer of water, losing all contact with the road. This leads to the concept of critical speed. In a turn, it's the maximum speed you can safely navigate before the required centripetal force exceeds the available grip, causing a skid. This speed isn't fixed, it depends on the turn's radius and the coefficient of friction. It's calculated with the formula V crit S squirt MUGR. For example, on a dry road with a friction coefficient of 0.8 comma, the critical speed for a 50 meter radius turn is about 71 kilometers per hour. Exceed that and you're no longer in control.